Good morning. My name is Dan Nugent. I'm Stockton University's Chief Development Officer and the Executive Director of the Stockton Foundation. I'm honored to welcome all of you here today to join us in celebrating legendary coach Stan Bergman and to honor the generosity and partnership of Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey. We're especially grateful that so many of our friends and partners could join us this morning. I'd like to introduce and recognize a few of them. First and foremost, of course, our president, Dr. Harvey Kesselman and Lynn Kesselman. Uh, from Horizon, Bridget Hickey, Jennifer Gowdy, Jonathan Pearson, and Kevin Duffy. Uh, the chairman of Stockton University's Board of Trustees, Mr. Leo Schofer. Senator William Gormley, members of our Rowing Advisory Committee, a number of representatives from Atlanticare and the Atlanticare Foundation are here, and members of the Stockton Foundation Board of Directors, including our chair, Donna Busby. Thank you all for being part of today's ceremony. <laughs> to officially start the program, I would like to invite Dr. Harvey Kesselman, president of Stockton University, to the podium. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I'd also like to uh, shout out Dr. Johanna Johnson, our former chair. She just stepped down. She's in the back. Thank you for being here also, our foundation chair, former. As we, um, as Stockton continues to make an impact across the region, the growth of our athletic programs will benefit not only our student athletes, but the communities we serve as well. Stockton's rowing program, these young people right here, aren't they great? Give them a big round of applause. That's why we're here. <laughs> offers a, nice smile. Offers an opportunity for the region's athletes to stay close to home and compete at the collegiate level and further underwrite the cultural and economic revitalization efforts across the region. I want to say something about the rowers in this region. Atlantic County has some of the best rowers in the United States of America. And yeah, give, your, give that a round of applause. And there is absolutely no reason, and this is why we hired John Bancari, there is absolutely no reason why this area should not have the NCAA division champions in rowing. And that is our absolute expectation. Sorry about that, John, but I'm getting it in right here, right now. But in order for those kinds of things to happen, to build championship caliber programs, you not only need great athletes, you need incredible support from the community and other benefactors. And in this regard, I cannot thank Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey enough for this generous gift, which has truly helped to launch this program. Because of their support, we will be able to develop, as I said, a nationally recognized program. And it's just the beginning, I hope, of a very important relationship with Stockton and Horizon. With their donation, a new Varsity H shell has been named in honor of the local rowing legend, icon, tutor of all, Stan Bergman, who will join, yeah. Remember the 49ers had the Bill Walsh tree of coaches? There he is. There's the Bill Walsh of rowing. And what he's done, not only everywhere he's touched, but to stay in tune and to come out. I remember when we reached out to him and said, Stan, we need you associated with this program if we're going to bring it to national prominence. And not only did he do that, he has been part of it since we began to launch it since John's been here. So with no further ado, I'll turn it over to whomever I am to turn it over to now so that we can kick this thing off. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Kesselman. I'd like to introduce uh, Stockton University's head coach of rowing, John Bancari. Um, I was told to keep it short, so uh, I lost my notes. Uh, no, it, it's, it's so easy to say great things about Coach Bergman, um, but the most important thing I can say is there's not tens or twenties, but we're t there's a hundreds of athletes, male and female, who worked under Coach Bergman, rode under Coach Bergman, whether it be on the beach or at, at Viking Rowing Club, or I know because I was I was one of the knuckleheads that he had to work with, and uh, but hundreds of guys have gone on and received scholarships. We're talking about millions of dollars if you put it together. 
And sorry you didn't get a cut, Coach, but you got, you got it in many other ways. So what he's done for, for the, not just the community um, uh, of rowing, but uh, the community at large, because all those guys have gone on to be, uh, they weren't just great athletes, but uh, mayors uh, and uh, doctors, lawyers, and, and the movers and shakers of, of, of our local society. Um, to come here and follow in the footsteps and have guys like Bergman, uh, you know, support the program, it's amazing. I feel like the local priest got the blessing from the Cardinal of, uh, the Cardinal of South Jersey. So, um, as far as Dr. Kesselman's goal for the national championship, with the support of the community, support Coach Bergman and the committee that we have, with, with the support of, of Blue Cross, uh, Horizon, everybody who've been su supporting us, right down to faculty members. One, in fact, just sent us a donation so our ladies will have a nice dinner at the head of the Charles. Um, that says so much. And it's, uh, so is it doable for a national championship? Heck yeah, it sure is. Uh, Dr. Kesselman, it won't be tomorrow. Um, it might be a couple years, but we're in the direction we've gone. If you look at where we started in, in January, um, when I moved here from Moore, Michigan, uh, to to where we are now, where we've quadrupled this, the, the number of athletes and the amount of the equipment that it's, that's a no-brainer. Uh, we're headed surely headed in the right direction. So. Thank you for the opportunity to speak and to be part of this is, uh, this is, you know, I've had, and I've done a lot of great things with my career and, you know, heck, we're off to a good start. That's all. Thank you, Coach. As you can tell, today's event and indeed the success of this program would not be possible without the help, support, and leadership of many of the individuals who are here today. But one of the most passionate about building this program is our next speaker, who is also a tireless advocate for Stockton. Please join me in welcoming Senator William Gormley. Uh, Tommy Sykes. Hey, Tommy. George Bressel was wondering, why didn't you put a third story on this building? So, but, but you know, you made a mistake a few years ago. It's an honor to be here. First of all, Coach, I've just recently met the coach. But I'll say this, I love intensity. I, I felt that way when I was in the State Senate. And he brings an intensity to this and a passion to this that is needed to bring a national championship. And you couldn't have found a better coach in all of America. So we're very lucky to have you, Coach. Um, to Harvey and the trustees, you now have the campus in America. There's a lot of campuses that are on the ocean. Wait a second. It's the only one. And it, it will be a launching pad for excellence. And it's a launching pad for the excellence we're talking about today. I'd like to talk about the partnership you have with Blue Cross Blue Shield. My friends Kevin Duffy and Jonathan Pearson are people that I've worked with before on a variety of programs in New Jersey. But here's why they're special. They have acknowledged excellence in the community. If you look at what they've done in terms of working with Local 54, our major union, they've had a partnership for years with Betsy Gilbertson, the leader in America in terms of union health care. And that's something they've worked on and they've developed. And so it's not just about the partnership with Betsy, it, what it means to the community. And then locally, their partnership with Atlanta Care, with Lori Herndon. Yes, Lori, we all know her story. A nurse who worked her way up to be a CEO of a major health care organization. But they work together on a variety of programs to make a difference in the community. Again, excellence, always towards excellence. And then the program they're doing with Atlantic Care. In Atlantic City, 20% of the population generally creates 80% of the health care cost. And they're working with Atlantic Care by merging the two um, foundations to have a program so that you have a delivery 
of the individuals who are housebound to dialysis and other programs to offset health care costs and provide a better standard of living. So to uh, Jonathan and to Kevin, I want to thank you because you've made a difference. But in that line, they said, we want to do more. I said, well, there's this very special guy we have down here, um, Coach Bergman, and we're looking to have a, a crew program, but it's not just about the boat or the boat house. It's about the impact on the community. And in line with all the other associations you have, associations of excellence, we think this is a program you should work with. And then they were nice enough to make this incredible grant and provide this boat. But one or something, who is now, by the way, there's a famous quote by Mike Trout. My parents taught me to be humble. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, Coach Bergman's parents were like Mike Trout's. He was taught to be humble. So he's encouraged me today, Bill, don't lay it on about me. It's about the future. See, the thing that's special about Coach Bergman, it, he could care less if he reads his old clips. He could care less if you talk about him. He wants you to talk about these young ladies and the future and their education and this community. But you want to know something? I had to go a little bit further. So I checked in with Tom Hanks. I said, have I got a narrative for your next movie? You've done Sully Sullivan. You've done Jim Lovell and Apollo 13 landing on the moon or not being able to get back from the moon. And now you're doing Mr. Rogers. But you've got to do the Coach Bergman story. He said, what's the narrative? I said, well, let's tell a story about a guy who is rich in the lifeguard tradition of this region, who hooks up with a, a doctor from Ventnor, and they start a crew program. And basically, he had never rode crew himself. Then he develops a nationally ranked crew program that is the envy of the country, that tens of thousands of young people in this county have experienced. And guess what? Admittedly, uh, the coach never got a contract like Mike Trout's. But if you look at the impact on this county and the difference it's made to generation after generation, it's a legacy that no one can match. And what it's meant is, it's meant generation after generation of somebody from this region has a chance. If you take the power of his goodwill, you merge it with this Stockton program, you have something that is second to none. Oh, wait a second. We sent him to Philly to coach in Philadelphia. They didn't send somebody from Philly. So I want to, I know we hear a lot about Boathouse Row. We hear about boats from the West Coast. This is about this boat in this town and its tradition and its future. And I'm just very, by the way, I happen to be on the committee. I'm the only one who didn't row. And I'm very lucky to let me on the committee because they're all champion rowers. So I certainly appreciate that. But I'd like to introduce to you somebody who's intricately involved in this program and somebody who really cares about the future of the program and all of Atlantic City from, um, from Blue Cross Blue Shield, our major partner here. I'd like to introduce Kevin Duffy. Kevin? Thank you. Good morning, and thank you for the warm welcome. It's my pleasure to be here today to represent Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey and take part in this ceremony celebrating the exciting future of Stockton University and the women's rowing program. I'd like to thank Stockton President Harvey uh, Kesselman and Head Coach Bencheri for their opportunity to be a part of this program, Senator Gormley for the, the opening remarks and the great support. Um, and I'd also like to acknowledge the Greater Atlantic City Area Chamber of Commerce membership here, which is Joe Kelly, the President, and Michael Shade, who's here somewhere. I saw him. There's Michael. Thank you both also behind the scenes working tirelessly to make this happen. Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield New Jersey is not, the, not only the state's largest and most experienced health insurer, we're also the most philanthropically active companies in New Jersey. We take pride in our ability to help the communities we serve beyond providing health care coverage for our 3.4 million members. That's why we're thrilled to support the women's rowing program here at Stockton. The Lady Ospreys serve as role models in this community for their commitment to health and wellness, as well as maintaining the high quality educational standards that they uphold. The rowing program is an important platform to encourage overall health and wellness in the community. Since there's a deep history of rowing in Atlantic City area, and the rowing is a sport that can be enjoyed by people of all ages, it's a great way to engage the local community and offers opportunity to enjoy this beautiful waterfront. Providing funds for this new Varsity HL is a perfect fit for Horizon, and it aligns with a community commitment to promoting women's health and wellness and making New Jersey's communities healthier. This contribution is about being a partner in the community and a partner with Stockton. 
It's helping the program become a national powerhouse. We very much look forward to watching this program rise to prominence under the coach, and we thank you again. Go Ospreys. Thank you, Kevin, and thanks again to Horizon. Can we have another round of applause for Horizon for making this day possible? And now join me in another round of applause as we welcome uh, the man of the hour to the podium, Coach Stan Bergman. I was just supposed to put the champagne on the boat. But anyway, uh, thank you everybody, uh, Stockton, all the uh, friends that are here, I appreciate that. I always say that um, a good coach basically tries to bring the best out in everybody, and that's mainly what I tried to do all my life. Treat every athlete like it was your own kid. Sometimes they need a pat in the back. Most of the time, they need a pat in the back. Every once in a while, I had my wife take care of the discipline for my kids, and she did a good job with that. But uh, I just appreciate this honor, and uh, I really know that John and his coaching staff are going to do a great job here at Stockton. And it's all about the athletes, the effort that you put in, the commitment you make. But I know one thing with Coach, you're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to remember these times at Stockton. Uh, as, and you'll meet friends here. They'll be friends for life with you. Um, and probably Coach Ben Carey will be the best professor you've ever had at Stockton. Not saying anything about anybody else, Dr. Kesselman, but they'll learn a lot, a lot more about life and uh, the ups and downs through this sport than probably any, anything you will. So again, I appreciate, I appreciate all my buddies and friends out here coming on this beautiful day. And I just hope the boat goes fast and uh, have a lot of fun, have a lot of grit, perseverance, never give up. And no matter what the outcome of the race, you're always going to be a winner in life. So thank you very much. Appreciate that. So he, the, the tradition is to pour the champagne over the boat, not hit it with the boat. <laughs> I actually asked, had, that's one person asked me that before. And I was like, please don't. Um, what they're presenting, the ladies are presenting, are plaques that were made, pictures that were made for, for Coach Bergman and, and for Horizon. And as a, um, as a memento of this date and a way to say thank you on behalf of, uh, from our student body. So thank you. So now the crew is going to line up and splash the boat for its first time. So hang around after that too because we do have another boat that we're going to name and that's a little bit of a surprise to come. For the last 25 years, there's been somebody who has been behind the scenes in not only promoting rowing in this, in this particular city, but also throughout all of the high schools in this county in New Jersey. I remember when we helped to launch 
the Oak Crest Sapsigami rowing programs. And in order for us to do so, we needed an incredible amount of support from the school boards that were there. We also needed financial support because schools never really budgeted, and certainly many of the mainland schools never really budgeted for a boat. And you also needed to have the blessing of some of the local folks in order to launch new athletic programs out of school district, knowing the way taxes are and everything associated with it. When it came time to get that support, we reached out to the then senator, Senator Bill Gormley. He not only worked with us to launch it at all the high schools, he also personally donated for the very first boat that we were able to provide at Oak Crest Um we would not have been able to do that then. And when we decided, and I, and, and, and I Diane D'Amico, who was right here at the time she worked for the AC Press, when I first became president, she says, well, let's do something, you're the fifth president, tell us your five goals in five years. And one of those goals was to build a championship caliber rowing program. And when it was time to launch it, and we had to do a number of things to get ready to launch a program, you just don't do it overnight. We once again reached out to the person he was no longer the state senator, but he was still Senator Bill Gormley. He has been a proponent of athletics. He's been a proponent of the schools. He's been a proponent of every single person that's here. And as you could hear him eloquently talk about what other people mean to this town, he also in region, he also means to all of us that much and more. So it is with, and this is a surprise, and this is not the easiest person in the world to surprise. Uh, so I have to thank Holly Zakowski, it could have never happened without her. But more importantly, he doesn't like this kind of thing, which is exactly why I chose to do it. But with all due respect, and with a great amount of uh, privilege and honor, I'd like us to, you know, strongly thank Bill through the naming of the Senator Bill Gormley boat on behalf of Stockton. I, uh, wow. Um. Harvey, thank you very much. Um, you know, Harvey, for somebody who just moved here, because, you know, uh, um, this is very nice. Thank you very much. Totally undeserved. I got to be the senator from Atlantic County, and um, I have a little bit of goodwill, and you share it with Atlantic County, and you talk about other people, because the excellence of this county is going to be demonstrated over the next few years, and the platform is going to be the Stockton campus. And it's going to be those young ladies and everybody he who's here who, who really cares about, about this county. Um, a little nostalgia. Um, Beach Tent, Chelsea Avenue. Um, my father would take me there with Captain Kite when I was four or five years old. Uh, first place I lived was Sovereign Avenue, right next door. So there's a lot of nostalgia. But like Coach Bergman, it's not about nostalgia. It's about tomorrow. It's about winning a national championship. And by gosh. <laughs> If you win this before the Notre Dame wins a national championship <laughs> in football, I am really, I don't know if Pearson and I could take it. But you want to some, Jonathan, at least we have two teams to cheer for a national championship now. Thank you. This is a great honor. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, everyone, we, uh, we want to conclude with a toast piece, so please raise your glasses. And we're toasting both the new Stan Bergman boat and the William Gormley boat. Thank everybody for being part of this. Cheers. Thank you all again for joining us. A special uh, thanks again to Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, Senator Gormley, uh, and all of you for attending today. This concludes the program.